we're live. Driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west. Driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west. Well, not quite yet, but uh, in about two weeks, we're going to be driving to the west. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome one more time. I didn't even check my audio today, are we? Is, is the audio like up to par? Uh, you know, it's been one of those... Uh, hold on, check, 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 one, two, yes, 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 it sounds like we, oh. like we used to say back when I used to do audio for the band, when it sounded good, we would say, it sounds like a CD, man, it sounds like a CD, so, um, uh, I see everybody's here, oh, look who's here, the return of Neon Pony, hello, <laughs> Uh, welcome everybody, Patricia Walsh, Michelle K, Trailer Traveling, Casita RV Live says uh, Merry, if I could just click, <clears throat> Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all Pelican Heads, same to you brother, and um, yeah, maybe I'll see you on the road soon, uh, Jan Dave, Mele Kalik. Kalikimaka, that's Hawaii's way to say Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you too. And the RV DJ is here, of course, and uh, Bill Davis. Merry Christmas from Bill and Sherry in Georgia. Georgia, oh my mind. You know, in order to get out of Florida and go to the West, well, you don't have to go through Georgia, but this time we are going to. Uh, Merry Christmas, Nevada Valley of Fire, man. I might add that to my list, actually, for the Western adventure this year. So, um, in any case, uh, thank you, everybody. Welcome. I, I did reset the chat. so um, And I have a bunch of uh, Christmas cards that I want to share with you. You know, I went by the by the, G, by the, um, I also got a GB, by the P.O. Box today. And uh, we've got Jim in D.C. Happy holidays and happy Friday. Same to you. And... Uh, the uh, Ask Remy, I think it's time to go further west. Uh, I think so. Yes. From Taladega, Alabama. And Christopher Olson, all the way from uh, seven time zones, no, six time zones away in Sweden. Uh, eggnog and, and brandy. Oh, be careful with that stuff, you know. And today I'm, I'm kind of doing two cameras. I decided to put the the iPhone as well here on the on this side and I look green I look like the Grinch and it makes me look fat maybe I shouldn't uh, <laughs> all right uh, today I'm gonna pour myself one more the last of the delicious IPAs because you know I, I bought the six pack and I haven't been having I haven't been having too much IPAs lately you know since uh, I've been trying to work on my um, You know, becoming a little. Oops! It's. Uh, I'm trying to pour it right, but the, when I try to pour it right, it's. Uh, there. Yeah, I like the the the, uh, the iPhone camera because it's a little more wide angle, right? There you go. Now we got very little head. Oh man, it's delicious. It's delicious. You would like it. I'll put it here. As far away from the keyboard as possible because um, uh, keyboards and beers don't really match. Ask me how I know. <laughs> uh, Gene Aragon, Merry Christmas. And Kelly Monroy, Merry Christmas. Robert Ely from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Hope you guys have a great holiday season. Uh, so far, so good. Yes, it's a. Uh, uh, so everybody is cold except here, right? Uh oh. Am I buffering? Why is this computer connected to the wrong uh, Wi Fi? 
we might lose signal here for a second we'll get a I still I still get signal from the living room Wi-Fi but not enough this is delicious yeah celebration good times everybody um, let me see who else is here Mark Durenning hello Mr. Robert from a cold blustery Indiana Merry Christmas uh, from Max Melendez Merry Christmas Robert and family Doug Hemlick nice poor thank you thank you so much and uh, Edward Doran thank you for the Merry Christmas why ever since I switched computers it, it becomes it's, it, it's becoming more difficult to to like trying trying to master the marinade for the Cuban roast pork shoulder you have inspired me to do one for Christmas any tips well this time around I'm actually doing a dry rub um Sometimes I do a marinade, but I'm, I'm doing a dry rub this time and we just, you know, punch holes on the, not on the, on the skin side, but on the, everywhere else. And we try to, you know, with, with, with our fingers, stick that marinade inside the pork and the marinade is just basically salt, pepper, uh, onion powder, ga garlic powder, uh, oregano, cumin, paprika, you know, the usual stuff that I use. Pork, pork is, is something that, I mean, you, you can do like, like sour orange, you know, do like the whole nine yards like Cubans do. Or, or, or Actually, I just bought, uh, it's called uh, mojo, M-O-J-O -M 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 in Spanish, mojo. Um, Goya makes, makes it, a bunch of brands make it, mojo criollo, and that's usually like Creole mojo. And uh, that's usually a good marinade because it has like sour orange and all the all the ingredients that you would usually use on a on a on a typical Cuban uh, you know roast pork we 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 did the right dry rub last night so that tomorrow is going to be awesome Steve Giblin uh, eyeglasses guy is cold here in Boston and cold down there in Miami kind of cold uh, actually let me see i have a remember this thing i had it in the RV i, I have it in here now since i'm not in the RV I think the battery is dying because it's not very bright, but it's 76 outside right now. So uh, I'm sorry to rub it in, but it, the, the Arctic blast has not arrived here yet. <laughs> um, actually, it is supposed to get really cold in Pelicamp. I'm uh, I'm a little bit worried. Check, check, check. Hold on. I have to fix this. I have to fix this. The ADD in me is not going to let me. Check, check, check. Yeah. Um, I'm a little worried about Pelicamp because it's going to go into the 20s. It's going to freeze for four nights in a row. And I don't know. I forgot to, to you know, the, the, the lines are pressurized. So I'm, I'm a little nervous that we might have an accident. Uh, I turned off the well, but I left the lines pressurized. So we'll see. Uh... A Seahawks fan for life. If you didn't go to Longview, Washington in the last episode of the Lewis and Clark trip, we have Lake Sacagawea, an artificial lake made out of the waters of the Colts River. All right. Hold on. Did I miss a super chat here back here? Open the G G Creek Garage Auto Museum. Thank you for that super chat. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really like here. Oh, M Mr. Alex. Uh, Mr. Ah, let me look for that one. It's it's easier to look if you, if you would see. I, I don't have like the most efficient uh, system here. Here we go, Mr. Alice. Thank you for that super chat. Sorry, I got to it so late. Feliz Navidad. Robert, greetings from California. California love. Okay, and that's it. I think that's it. And now we have... Something is vibrating and I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's one of those days. Angela Bell celebrating one month of being a chief pelican head. A Merry Christmas from Arkansas to you, Ely and Mom. May you have a beautiful holiday. I'm a little jealous of your weather. Uh, well, you know how, how it is. It is infernally hot for 80% of the year down here. And then we get this few days here when, you know, it's nice and balmy. Actually, it's going to go down tonight. Tomorrow morning is going to be like 
50 something, I think, which uh, in any case, uh, hands on adventures. Thank you for uh, celebrating 12 months as a chief pelican head and IR1003198181. Thank you for that super chat. Merry Christmas. And uh, my uncle is in Cicero, Illinois. 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 Merry Christmas and Nick Bauer. Thank you for that super chat. Merry Christmas, Robert. Just got back to Lake Corpus Christi State Park. Great place. State $25 for uh, full hookups. Uh, I have to explore Texas a lot more than I have. Duke Chips. Uh, how cold is it up, up there? Uh, thank you for that super chat. I just turned 54. Birthday shout out for me in Spanish. Gotta do it. Gotta do it with the guitar. Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz. Te deseamos todos. Cumpleaños feliz. I was gonna sing the mañanitas, but we'll do that some other time, huh? Oh, I know, I know what's, I know what's making that pseudo vibrating noise is is my 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 20 year old christmas tree <laughs> oh my oh this is you know i i have a bunch of mail that i need to get to and show you guys uh thank you daniel Ruiz, for that super chat we're going to festivals tamale taco party tonight over at friends at 52 in sacramento here you and your viewers have a great weekend well thank you Th same to you and thank you for that super chat uh And Neon Pony, all the RV parks are crammed with snowbirds. Yeah, that's what happens in Arizona. That's that you know, that's the one thing I don't like about Phoenix this time of the year. And uh and the other thing, I'm still four years too young. They don't want me on at those RV parks. <laughs> uh so uh Gary Soldan, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Well, I'm gonna start opening some of your some of your snail mail here in a little bit because I have a lot. I went by the P.O. box today, but some of them, some of these even arrived here at my home address. There's a handful of you who actually have my my home address. And this one comes from the birds, uh, Robert and family. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, and here we go. It's that time of the year. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to to send anybody like like physical paper cards, but I think I'm gonna do a, like a, like a like an email tomorrow. So this one come from from Mr. Robert Baird. Thank you so much from from Alabama. And uh, we're gonna do this in batches because there's a lot of them. This one from our friends, of course. Uh, if you saw that video where where uh, uh, Jason took me up on a plane, this is from Jason and Misty, and of course the card had to have had to have a plane in it, right? <laughs> spirit of Saint Nick, that's really cool. Instead of this, the spirit of Saint Louis, the spirit of, uh, of Saint Nick. Hey Barb, uh, traveling Robert, have you said you wanted to experience our winter? Well, come up. Uh, we'll give you an apple pie and brandy to help. Hey, apple pie and brandy. It is negative seven, real feel of negative 34. I missed my chance, didn't I? Uh, but I might be back before the end of winter. Uh, there's a mini tiny four somewhere waiting for me in Indiana, and that's like the next state, right? Tra trailer traveling, thank you for that super chat. Wishing you, Illy, and mom the happiest of holidays and safe travels for 2023. Thank you so much. And I'm already excited for, for the 2023 travels. Let me tell you. Okay, this one is coming from Manchester, New Hampshire. It's uh, from... Uh, oh, from the Barcelo. From Barcelo. Uh, Darlene Barcelo. Merry Christmas. May the gentle peace of Christmas fill your heart with joy all year. Thank you so much, Darlene. And that's... Uh, that's the, the card... And while we do this, let me read some of your comments here. 
From Shelly Han, good evening, Robert, uh, Eli Alma, moderators, and all the Pelican Heads. Feliz Navidad, everyone. Hope everyone is staying warm and safe. What are you having to drink tonight, Robert? You know, I was going to do a more Christmassy drink and maybe, uh, well, maybe, maybe uh, you know, uh, next time, you know, uh, Duki Chips will send us some Coquito. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, which is like the Puerto Rican version of eggnog, right? Um, but, um, oh, this slide is really red. You know, I try to do the Christmas thing with the, with the red and green lights. I don't know how, how well that's working. Uh, Kami Hogan, we're heading to Coos Bay, Oregon from Minnesota. Anyone, any preference in route? I, I, I wouldn't know exactly. This one comes from, to, 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 from R Rubio Minkler and Jeff Halperin. From Ve Bella Vista, California. Thank you so much. Quackers Scooter Quack. From Robin, Jeff, and Gus. Okay. Everybody say hello to my mom. Hi, Merry Christmas to everybody and the production moderators. Have an excellent weekend with peace and love. There we go. I'm gonna do a couple more and then we'll do, I mean, I have like, like let, me, let me not show any addresses here. I have like a whole bunch of mail. And uh, yeah, uh, Sonia, the large envelope, uh, eventually they found it. <laughs> and uh, actually, I'm, I hate to rub it in, but it's kind of warm here in the, in the, in the, in the Flagami studio today. Uh, you know, when, when it is cool outside, the air conditioner doesn't turn on, doesn't kick, you know, doesn't cycle on. And back here, the studio is the, the least probably uh, insulated part of the house. And this place is hot in summer, cold in winter. It's, uh, but you know, it's it's the studio. It's the Flagami studio. From Milford, Connecticut, Marianne Paulson. Uh, thank you so much for the the, the Christmas card. And uh, let me read a couple of this here. Tammy G, Merry Christmas. You and Illy, we were wondering what's in a seat belt in your back seat. Here's hoping you have a safe and healthy 2023. Cheers. And that would be my Berkey water filter, which uh, it's kind of bulky for it to travel, you know, in uh, inside the RV. And I'm afraid, you know, that it might fall. If, if it falls off on the back seat, it's no big deal. So... Uh, and this one comes from Cindy Gervasio. And uh, from Bill and Cindy Gervasio. And here we go. Or Gervasio. I don't know. In, in Spanish, it would be Gervasio, which is coincidentally the name of a street in Havana. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Robert and everyone. Merry Christmas to all, to you all. Merry Christmas to you too. And... Uh, no, 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 like I went through the pile that I picked up on Monday and in, in, in a few will go through the pile that uh, yeah, they, 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 they turned the, the Grinch camp, by the way. Thank you. Thank you to Amelia who sent me this uh, from Tampa, I believe. Uh, this t-shirt is the most wonderful time for a beer. So who am I to argue with that, right? Cheers. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Goddesses on the road. Hello there. Merry Christmas. And uh, Jim Foster. Howdy, Remin. Hope you're soaking up the warmth uh, in the in the Philippines. Yes. Let me tell you something. It's, uh, it's 75 degrees now outside. Uh, I'm just saying. Not saying. And Tim Machulets. Uh, Feliz Navidad, Robert and Ely, mom, the best from Toronto, Canada. All right. Well, I'm going to go in order of size here with the with the second batch. And uh, what are we staying? Traveling Robert needs to take care of a few things. Have a safe uh, and happy Christmas. Same to you. Where are we staying? This one comes from Michelle McDaniel. And she always uh, writes the, the, the most beautiful um, uh, comments uh, on, on the videos. And... Uh, there you go. It's uh, an inside. It's there. 
thank you very much and uh, and I you know keep putting them here on top of the piano until um, and Mario says Merry Christmas from Germany Merry Christmas how do you say Merry Christmas in German oh this one is beautiful this one comes from oh from Michelle K look at that and it's uh, like a 3D, you know? It's uh, it's It's got layers. <laughs> That's very cool. And uh, here in the back, it says, Happy Holidays, Michelle K. Thank you. Thank you so much. Freuliche Weihnachten. Is that how you say it in... in uh, this, this one is kind of tight. I cannot I cannot put the genie back in the bottle. It's 29 degrees in Destin, Florida. Baby, it's cold outside, let me tell you. I, I don't know exactly how, how cold it is in Perry. But... Uh, I got a text from... Okay, I got a text from, uh, I didn't see that, uh, the, uh, from, from Mr. CLT. Uh, hey, Robert, just purchased a brand new Winnebago Voyage trailer. You're a great ambassador. Well, thank you. Uh, from uh, Okay, this one is actually for my mom, but I decided to, to show it to you guys. I'll, I went by my mom's uh, today uh, uh, earlier, and this one comes from... Someone called Stevenson. Do you know any guy? Stevenson? I believe he lives in D.C. From Jim in D.C. Yes, from Jim and Paula. Thank you, Jim. I, my mom really liked it. I think she, she sent you an email. Uh, she asked me how to send a, an email to you. and uh, So thank you for that, Jim, of course. Uh, and Paula. We, actually, let me put this somewhere else. We met in D.C. when I went with my mom uh, earlier in the year. One, probably the coldest uh, March in, in Washington, D.C.'s history. Miranda Perea. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. ADB, just hit the... Okay. I'm trying to... From exploring coast to coast, Robert Perry is 37 degrees right now, showing a low of 25. Yeah, I, I really do hope uh, we don't burst the pipe, but who knows? I mean, it is what it is. I, 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 I wanted to go up there and, uh, and at least, you know, release the, 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 the pressure from the pipes. Hopefully, uh, we'll... Uh, I didn't think we were going to get a, a, a hard freeze in Pelicamp uh, uh, before the end of the year. And I'm not going to be able to get to Pelicamp until sometime next year. From Lisanne Robertson, Georges Noël, Robert, Robert from Lisanne and Tony, like uh, Brom in Quebec. Bonjour, Quebec. Bonsoir, Quebec. This one from William Brody, Brody, Brody. Look at that. Season's greetings. Thank you so much. Peace and happiness from William Brody, 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 and Pat. Thank you, William. If you are uh, here today, thank you very, very much. And um, Jackie is asking, Robert, where are you now? I'm at uh, uh, the Flagami Studio, at my home in Miami. Uh, Eddie B., thank you for that super chat. Hello, Robert, from Eric and Miranda uh, and Ruby. Tucson, in Tucson, Arizona. I don't know why this defaults to top chat and sometimes I don't see everything. Jim in DC, we are close, e close to equaling your March visit. 18 and windy, no blossoms at the moment. Well, I think when I was there, it wasn't quite at 18, but it was, uh, it was very cold. It, it, it was probably like just below freezing, maybe 31, but with the wind chill, uh, yeah. So, Lisette Suarez, Merry Christmas para ustedes y tu mamá. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this one comes from 
Jason. It's kind of hard to read, but here we go. And uh, from Sacramento, California, I don't see a. Uh, you know, of all the things I've lost, my, my eyesight is not one of them, but from Jason, Jody, Kira, and Jackson. Thank you so much. And uh, Redneck, Gyp Redneck, Redneck Gypsy Adventures, uh, uh, celebrating nine months as a chief pelican head to you and your family. From mine, wishing y'all very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Here's to 2023 and many safe travels ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, <clears throat> you know, I, I got that itch to hitch. So um, thank you, Mark Drenning, for the translation. It's kind of hard for me to pronounce. Froge. Uh, Wayne Chatton. And this one comes from Oliver Rain's group. Oh, this one is like a, like a puzzle, like a magnet puzzle. And uh, there. Thank you. It's a magnet puzzle like uh, you phrases from uh, from Christmas movies. So uh, which it's a not really a tradition in uh, in our family to watch uh, holiday movies, but yeah, we we might do like Home Alone or something like that. Uh, uh, let me read some of your comments here. Uh, Daniel Ruiz, Georges Noel, yes, je ne parle français, never mind. Uh, only when I drink too many IPAs, I, I pretend I know French. Uh, Robin Minkler, hi Robert. Just walked in the door when you when you my Christmas car. Hey, oh man, Jackie Trujillo, no snow in Miami. Look at you. We are in a snowstorm in Toronto, but on a positive note, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, right? Aaron Romano. Hey, Robert, love when you make picadillo in the RV. Is that recipe online in any videos? We would love to make it sometimes. And this is the thing. I I, I don't follow any recipes, so it comes out different every night, every, every time. Like lately, I've been, you know, today I made one, actually. I made picadillo today and um, it came out good. But it, it all depends. I'll, 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 I'll come up with a recipe. Next time I make one, I'm going to, I'm going to mentally measure things and I'll let you know, but it's basically, you know, you, you brown the meat and then you add, you know, onions, like green peppers, usually, you know, garlic, uh, and then you add a little bit of cooking wine and tomato sauce. And then you do like the, the paprika, oregano, cumin, a lot of paprika, like medium amount of oregano, just a tiny little bit of cumin. And uh, sometimes I add a little bit. Lately, I've been adding a little of cayenne pepper just to give, give it a little kick. Anyways, uh, the Lost Arviers. Thank you for that super chat. Santa brought an Apple Pro laptop. One T. Any tips? Uh, enjoy, man. Uh, <laughs> it's always good. It's a... Uh, it's always good to have a new computer, even though when you bought your old computer, it was fast and good. Uh, after a couple of years, they just slow down. I don't know what's up with that. This had to be noticeable in your chat. So happy holidays, Robert. So jealous for your 76 Fahrenheit degrees. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it's hard to get noticed in the chat. Delta Dog, but if you have my my, home, my phone number, it's easy to text me, right? Merry Christmas to you and yours. We enjoy your talent from Darling and Bob. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, Brandy Williams, thank you for that super chat. Happy holidays to you, Illy and Mom. Uh... Oh man, this chat is going too uh, too quick, too too fast today. It's uh, nasty weather here in Gatineau. <laughs> it's pretty much nasty weather everywhere, right? It, like the whole country is covered in snow, except for like maybe California and Florida. <laughs> uh, young Dave, LC twenty twenty two question. Uh, Robert, can you relate one or two perfect moments on the trip when you were at the viewpoint or on the trail? You thought this is what it's all about. 
Oh man, one of those has to be was some of those views of of Mount Hood, because it's that kind of view that, I mean, if you're if you're from there, if you live there, you see it every day. It may not seem like magical, but for someone from Florida where we don't have mountains, I mean, our, our tallest hills are are, are you know um, landfills basically. Uh, seeing uh, Mount Hood from across the Columbia River is very magical. And uh, there were several, actually. And during that trip, actually, probably the, the best moments I haven't gotten a chance to edit yet. And I'm not going to edit them for another six months or so. Uh, so, um, which is, you know, when I went to the Badlands and uh, certain other moments in the West. But... Um, There were several moments in Montana where I was like, the, you know, when you see the, the 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 Rockies for the first time, um, Cajuns across America, thank you for that soup. I mean, for celebrating. Hey, hold on, <laughs> Cajuns across America celebrating four months as Chief Pelican Head. Merry Christmas, Robert Ely, Miss Alma, and fellow Pelican Heads. We're going to get down to 19 here in Mariana, Florida. Yeah, you're up there in the. In the panhandle, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty bad. I don't know. I don't know if uh, if Pelicamp is going to survive. Oh, look at that! This is a very made up moment here. I'm sorry about the reflection. So, Tap Channel is having a beer, watching me. <laughs> Cajuns across America. Uh, no, trailer traveling, uh, celebrating 12 months, a whole year, huh? Chief, as Chief Pelican Head. Um, we are heading down to the Keys in January. Do you recommend the Tiki Bar at Gilbert's, the Tiki Bar at uh, Postcard Inn, or both? I would do both. Each has uh, its own different uh, character. Postcard Inn is not what it used to be. It's not the Tiki Bar we all remember from, from the 90s, you know, from our 20s. Um, but it's still good, and they still make a good rum runner. But it's kind of like, you know, the whole hotel uh, has given it like a whole like upper scale. I don't know. Um, at this moment in life, I, I probably like Gilbert's better. And if you can go on a day where they have live music, that would be great. Sometimes they have uh, the magician. I forget the tricks. Uh, tricks the magician is good. Um, Anthony Giordano, thank you for that super chat. How cold is it in Rochester? I just want to know. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. Happy Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too, uh, Anthony. Uh, Remy Passion, no, don't measure things, Robert. It's how magic in cooking is made. Yeah, that, that's a thing. Whenever I, I make my, uh, my picadillo or whatever I make, it always comes out different. So it's a surprise every time, you know. Not always a, a pleasant surprise, you know, but it's always a surprise. <sighs> I'm trying to... Why is this not... Oh, Neon Pony. Celebrating 30... 33 is the magic number. As a chief pelican head, Merry Christmas to you all, pelican heads. Merry Christmas to you too, Nian. Um, we were getting worried about you. Uh, Anthony Santiago, thank you for that super chat. Saludos desde North Carolina. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad to you too. Uh, Casita RV Life, uh, if the lines freeze, we can fix them. Hey, uh, you, you, you put them together. I was kind of the assistant, so... <laughs> I'm sure uh, I'm sure um, we, we we might be able to figure that out yeah uh, I'm sure that whatever is underground is gonna be fine right it's just the the above ground stuff um, From Well the Heck Out of It Corporation. Hey, Merry Christmas to you and Ely. Uh, uh, you're going to the RV show in Tampa. We'll probably see you there. Uh, I've decided to skip this year's Tampa. And what, I, what I've decided is I'm going to do one year Tampa, uh, like even years Tampa, odd years uh, Quartzite. 
So, Jim in DC, big shout out to Gordon. You had a great visit at Timberline Lodge. Yeah, Gordon was great. And he's probably here in the chat somewhere. Uh, uh, Garas is on the road. Hello, Robert. Happy holidays to you, Mom and Ely. We are enjoying the cold weather and counting down the days to the RV show. Let me... Okay, now I did a notice tab channel. That, funny how that works, right? Good to see you still got me there. I was out uh, from YouTube for a few months and now hopefully I'll be back. Good to be here. Well, thank you for being here. And... Uh, Hey, Jim Forry Jr. Hello, Jim. Jim Woods, Robert, and all. Happy holidays. It's 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, well, it's still uh, actually, and it's it's getting warm here. It's it's. I just I don't mean to rub it in, you know, but it's 75.8. It's going down tonight. I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh, Uh, Jim Forey, Trix is at Gilbert's only on Saturday night. Trix is at Lorelei in, Mon in Isla Morada, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We just passed by, by Lorelei a couple of days ago, but we didn't stop. We were towing the trailer. And, uh, and I think you're going to love those uh, uh, Florida Keys videos I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for you guys. Stores, stores are packed out here, Extremely Park, Northern California. And you know what happens... It it, this is time of the year. It's a magical time of the year, of course, but um, it seems like uh, first everybody is in a rush. Everybody's stressed out. I notice it when I'm, you know, r jogging in the morning, which I haven't done in two days. But then again, sometimes you have to, you know, take a break. Uh, don't rub it in, rubber. We're freezing our fannies here. Well, you know, Jim in DC, we're using our porch as a refrigerator. Got some pizzas and brisket out there. Hopefully no brave raccoons. Hey, you know, that, that, that's the way to do it. That, that's how they did it in, the, in Lewis and Clark times. So, uh, <clears throat> okay, this one comes, <clears throat> and I hope he's uh, watching from Mr. Heath from Los Osos, California. And I'm so, I'm kind of sad because I was very close to Los Osos, California. And this one comes with a super cash. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Richard, and uh, his, uh, I don't know, it just didn't work out uh, to, for us to meet each other, but that's Los Osos, and that's him watching me, and th there's uh, Morro Bay in the back, that's a cool picture, and uh, he sent me a very, very nice letter, and I always appreciate it, so thank you very much, and uh, I'll leave the super cash here, just in case I forget, so thank you. Uh, Agnes D, I think we're all inspired to drive to Florida now. <laughs> 75 is a dream. Uh, oh, Jim Forre, Casita, how do you guys install PEX lines at Pelican? They're very forgiving of cold weather. My concern will be the pressure tank. I don't know. Uh, PVC underground fossils and tank are concerned. Well, uh, I, I don't know the tank maybe I mean it's it's I would think it's large enough and it's probably relatively insulated I don't know but it's in the shade which is uh, bad because it's not gonna get above 40 like during the day so we'll see hey red jaguar welcome welcome red jaguar uh, I'm going to show you one or two more cards and then I'll, I'll save the best, well, not the best for last, but the largest. And I don't want to show any addresses here, but we do have a large envelope that we thought that we thought we had lost, but they found it. And Dylan Reynolds is here. Hello, Dylan. And this one comes from, uh, it's a very nice personalized card here. Um, from Bill and Talmeth Powell from, from Kentucky. And of course, uh, that quintessential uh, pelican uh, poem. A very strange bird is the pelican. His beak can hold more than his belly can. It's a marvelous beak. It can hold for a week. But I swear, I don't see how the hell it can. 
That's Pelicanium poetry at its best. Best. Dylan Reynolds got him the guy yourself a phone for Christmas. Well, congratulations. And we got the Curtis family, the man, the myth, the legend, traveling rubber. Thank you for being here. And well, well is that a picture at, at Disney World? Well, this one got glitter from Ball Springs, Texas, from Betty and Mac Michael. And uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to do one more. And then we'll save the rest for the end of the, of the live stream. And this one comes from Steve Gibling, eyeglasses guy. And uh, thank you. Here we go. It's 68 in Los Angeles. Nice time to go to Disneyland. You know, any anywhere between sixty. It depends where it, where the, whether it's sunny or cloudy or windy or rainy, but anywhere between like sixty and seventy four feels comfortable to me. And Nancy Reynolds, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Robert Ely and Mom from Northwest Pennsylvania. Six negative sixty degrees here. Brrr, that's cold. Octavia. Uh, how is all you doing? We're doing great. And uh, Anthony Giordano, thank you for the super chat. Robert, 13 temperature and up to 70 wind gusts. A lot more ice than snow. Anthony, uh, stay, stay indoors. Stay warm, man. Red Jaguar, I'm so happy I'm not in Philly. But it's going down to 22 here in Savannah tonight. Yeah, it's... When, when when it gets down to the to the fifties in Miami, you know the rest of the country is frozen, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm genuinely uh, worried about Pelicamp, but it is what it is, you know. I I didn't get a chance to go up there, and uh, uh, from Speedy Ford, uh, Robert, have you ever had to winterize your RV during trip due to due to cold weather? I haven't. Minitini 1 is up there, it's not winterized, but there's no water pressure anywhere. Uh, everything is empty, everything is dry by now, so it sh I think it should be fine. I'm not worried uh, worried about Minitini 1, but uh, I'm worried about the infrastructure because it's going to be it's going to go down to freezing for four nights in a row and a couple of those nights it's going to be like a hard freeze, you know, in the 20s. So that that's my only concern. Tim Lawson just uh, wants you to know that I'm using your channel to com co to covertly co covertly influence my wife into RVing. Hope that by watching your videos to get her to do a weekend rental to see if she likes it. So, uh, yeah, man, go for it, go for it. Um, uh, I'm kind of in the in the in the final uh, st uh, um, stages of planning both trips. The our Western trip. Uh, which is in January, and uh, our European trip. I actually found a place that they rent uh, RVs, and uh, I'm kind of doing like an itinerary. I kind of kind of know what I want, so uh, we'll see. It's probably gonna be a camper van. That was supposed to be hello, lol. Help there, <laughs> I see. Uh, Dusty Haskins, uh, all of my kids are climbing on my back, waving, say hi, and Merry Christmas now too. Hey, Merry Christmas again. And uh, here we got, oh, another one from Mr. Stevenson. Well, Jim and Paula from DC. And this one, it's got the White House. From our house to yours. Not our house on the card, although it is the people's house. Looking forward to a new year of uh, epic travels. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it to DC this year, but this year we should definitely plan a, a good hike 
uh, you know, together. At least there'll be an O'Connell. I don't know. <laughs> when they get to 50s in Miami, they break out the park. Oh, you should see people wear boots. It's like crazy. <laughs> this one comes from, from Connecticut. Oh, and this one has it's a super cash thank or super card. Uh, thank you very much from uh, Mike and Tracy. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. And um, and we have a super chat from Pablo S. Thank you for that super chat. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Robert. Yo feliz por ganar el Mundial de Fútbol, of course. That's uh, ARS -R is uh, Argentina. So, felicidad, felices, felicidades por el Mundial. Congratulations. Of course, Argentina won the, the World Cup. I saw pictures of the celebration. That looks like that was epic. By the way, the card is a vintage Mickey Mouse. And I got one more. One more time. Uh, uh, from... Okay. I was trying to click on the wrong place. Uh, joy blessed life. We want a camper van for trips and just uh, use going into the Smoky Mountains where we live. That's a, that's a nice place to live. Let me tell you. Uh, from Daniel Ruiz. What do you call lawn ornaments in a Winnebago? Mobile gnomes. I guess. Yeah, Absolutely. And uh, Redneck Gypsy Adventures. I'm heading to Glacier National Park in July, then to Jackson Hole and heading home through Colorado and Oklahoma. That's a great time to be up there. And now I've got this large envelope. Does anybody recognize the large envelope? And it's none other than, than a painting. And it's signed here. Sonia C blank 922 so it's a painting by the rv dj so i'm gonna i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to hang this somewhere thank you so much for that and uh, we've got a, a snoopy card um uh, and it says uh, robert and Lily, sonia painted this and uh, we decided it reflected Robert's love for the West. Oh, excuse me. So Merry Christmas to you both. Thank you for all. Uh, for uh, you do have done for our enjoyment. Sonia and Jim, thank you so much. Michelle K wants me to play you some music. So I think that concludes our uh, our uh, mail segment. <laughs> Jerome, uh, glad to be here. And Robin Minkler is Natalie Driscoll in the house. She was earlier, so uh, probably. And uh, we have a new Pelican head, Dusty Haskins. Thank you for becoming a chief Pelican head. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, there we go, the RV DJ. So somebody wanted me to sing something. Yeah, I should bring the guitar stand closer, right? Because uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, I don't know the words. Um, 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 from Darwin S uh, Smith. Merry Christmas, Robert and Nelly. Uh, mom celebrating two years, six months, and 23 days as members. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Darwin. And uh, Dylan Reynolds, will there be a live concert on New Year's Eve? Yep, you bet. We're going to do it. Uh, we're going to celebrate... Uh, a Central European, Western European, and and uh, Greenish Ming time 
midnights. If all goes well. That is beautiful. My hobby storyteller Danny uh, started painting a year ago just by watching Bob Ross. Um, yeah, painting is a talent that I don't have. <laughs> uh, we all have a question. How do I mail something to you, Robert? Where do I get the P.O. Box address? Well, I do have a lower third here somewhere. Uh, I don't know if, it, if it's going to get here in time before I depart for the West. Or maybe I should... There, there. Uh, if 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 we can make it here before the end of the year, uh, do it. If not, uh, let's uh, let's wait until I get back from the west. So, Jeffrey DiBartolo, I'm not being snarky. His website is excellent. Uh, let me let me remove the PO box. I hope you you had time to get that. His PO is a. Is by the way, today I went to the to the post office and it was empty. There was nobody there. I guess everybody already mailed whatever they were supposed to mail. So. Uh, I'm running out of beer. That means we're running out of time. Uh, uh, young Dave, do you run into any Lewis and Clark reenactors on your trip? I think there are groups that sail killboats replicas on some parts of the river journey. I, there was that, uh, wa uh, you know, water worthy uh, a killboat in St. Charles, uh, Missouri. But I didn't. I didn't really encounter any any reenactors. No, no, not really. Uh, Neon Pony, how far west this year traveling, Robert? Probably all the way to California. We're gonna spend a few days in Quartzsite, of course. Um, I might make it all the way to San Diego, and then you know work our way north on the California spine. You know, Ely has never seen like the three ninety five. That that that. I, w I was gonna. I wanted to go to Death Valley, but the, the one road that I want to do uh, in Death Valley, which is uh, Titus Canyon Road, you know, now now that I got the new truck, I wanted to do some off-roading. That one is closed, so um, we're going to do some other stuff. So, yeah. Minitini Lounge, New Year's Eve, best place to be, we're William Brody Brody. Yeah, we're going uh, to do it. I might learn a couple of new songs. Um, Joey Blessed Life Hobby Storyteller Johnny has been getting tips from the Smoky Mountains Gallery artist but I want him to get some lessons he paints by imagination now cool talk about Q23 and plans so far yes the Lost Star Viewers Q23 and uh, and I know uh, Mark Guido of uh, uh, of Grand Adventures you know they're getting all this Things super organized. They, they already sent me the the, the GPS coordinates. Uh, I, I'm just gonna play kind of by the seat of my pants on this. Uh, when I get to when I get to Quartzsite, I'm gonna drop my coordinates, and whoever wants to hang out, you know, we're gonna I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna be here this day, this day, and this day, and uh, and I'll 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 post. Actually, I probably use YouTube Shorts for that. I think that's the like the the easiest way to communicate like real time while well, well, I'm while well, I'm out there and uh and we'll see you know I, I I want to I want to I want to plan like to do something significant uh, and eat out at one of the places out there every every day of course Saturday the first Saturday is probably going to be the desert bar because that's what you do thanks for driving through Stevenson Washington yeah I'm sorry I didn't get to stop <laughs> but uh yeah, I remember you told me about it. Jeffrey DiBartolo, say hello to Mark. We'll do. Yeah, we'll probably do a live stream together uh, when we're there. Probably that's that first Friday. Friday the... Let me pull up my calendar here. Hold on. You are logged out. Why? Why you, you, Google keeps logging me out. I don't know what's going on here. Yes, it is me. Uh, 
That'll be January. We're probably gonna do the the one live stream from Quartet. It's gonna be January twentieth. I doubt very much I'm gonna be there by the twenty seventh. Probably Imperial Dam. I don't know. But the twentieth is gonna be the live stream from Quartet, and the and the twenty first Saturday. If anybody wants to go to the, to the Desert Bar, the Nelly E Saloon, let me know, and we can caravan out there. So that's the story I'm sticking to. It's 437 concurrent viewers, it says there. Is, is, is the iPhone, does, does the iPhone still have battery? Yeah, there's the Grinch cam there, and the, that's my screen, you know, screen monitoring uh, the, the live stream. If, if you ever live stream, you get a, the same, same type of screen, right? Um, home chef, hope to see you in Quartzite. Uh, I will plan to bring some long leaf IPA from North Carolina to share with you. Well, we'll be there. I'll have my my Truma cooler outside with beers, you know, by my campsite, like 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 you do, right? Uh, gotta go, my friends. Rambling Robert, go to Adobar el Puerco. Hey, I beat you to it. Uh, have a good time and enjoy. Um, we are hoping to, uh, Cajuns across America, we were hoping you'd be at the Tampa Super Show to maybe get to meet you in person. I'm going to go next year for sure. Um, and this year, uh, you know, uh, uh, th this is the thing. It's it, the, the two things happen at the same time, Quartzite and Tampa, and you have to choose. Um, will you ever go to Mexico ever uh, with the RV? Um I'm thinking about it. The, the thing with the, as, as long as I am a Buenavego brand ambassador, I cannot take that, uh, that loaner unit, which is basically what it is, into Mexico. But I'm preparing Minitini one for that journey. I just didn't have time. But the idea is kind of, you know, a flex Minitini one. Do like the flex package on the on the newer Buenavegos, but put it on Minitini one. That's kind of the idea. Robert, do you feel the RV that burned out at Quartzite this week? I, I heard something about it. I, I didn't really uh, uh, see any videos or anything like that. Michelle K., the Desert Bar is one of my favorite places you have gone. Yeah, that place is cool. Um, uh, Trish TV, Inc., hi. Uh, you look like you're feeling good tonight, Rob. Yeah, I'm good. I've, it's, you know, and, uh, which iPhone are you using? Well, this one over here is an iPhone 11. I bought it. Uh, in 2020, when I when I decided to go, with, because you know my my favorite phone of phone of all time is my my daily driver. It's a Samsung S9. It's an old phone, but I think this is this is the phone where they perfected the phone, if you will. You know, you 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 still have an almost full screen without any notches or cutouts or pills or or uh, dynamic islands. It's got a headphone jack and. Um, it, it's it's got a, 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 a slot where you can put a memory card so you can expand the memory. I think for phones, except for like camera quality and speed, phones have been going downhill when it comes to features after this. So that's what that, that five-year-old phone is still my daily driver. Jesus lover, Merry Christmas, Robert, precious Cillian, lovely mama, and all on this feed. Dios los bendiga. God bless you. Thank you so much, uh, Jesus lover. Uh, uh, from Big Jim's Late. Hello, everyone. It's been a while since I've been able to catch the live stream in real time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, Bob Leach, what is the lowest temperature you're recalling your years living in Coral Gables? It's gone down to the 30s, but not much lower than that. Actually, the first year, the year, the, actually, the, the year I arrived in the United States, um, it was December 13th. It was a Tuesday, the 13th, by the way, uh, in, in 88. That wasn't the year. The year after, I remember I was working at Winn Dixie, and uh, one of those mornings that I had to wake up before s sunrise, you know, and I was, you know, rocking my 1987, my, my 1978 uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme without air conditioner, uh, but that night it went down to like 32, and that's probably one of the coldest nights I've ever experienced in South Florida. Um, that, that probably was in 89. Q23 is growing and growing. Going to be a big one. A really big show. 
And I've seen videos, uh, there's this this guy, it's a new channel, I forget his name right now, he, he's been posting videos on Quartzite, and it looks pretty crowded this early in the season, so it's it's going to be very crowded this year, I have a feeling. Uh, Jim in DC, it's 18 and windy in DC at the moment, we might see some ice, but I think it's the cold everyone is concerned with. Uh, I would think folks in Savannah are less able to cope. Yeah, I don't think they have snow plows in Savannah. <laughs> What about the Hershey uh, Pennsylvania RV show? Definitely going to that one this year. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Amelia Martinez. Uh, hey, yes, I'm glad you like the t-shirt. I'm fit. You said from Tampa, but I live in Orlando. Sorry, <laughs> I get confused. You know, I'm, I'm working from memory here and my memory is not as... It was never any good, but now it's worse. So thank you, thank you, uh, Amelia from Orlando. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And yes, I love it. Look at that. It's the most wonderful time of the year for a beer, a beer. Try Sony if you like knockless uh, phones. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of the the... the uh, the notchless notchless I, i'm thinking of the sony xperia but i don't know gotta run casita rv life hopefully our possible close definitely enjoy man and hopefully hopefully everything is okay december 25th 1988 it was 28 degrees in fort lauderdale oh maybe it was that year no because I, I i i didn't have a job then in fact, I probably spent that December 25th, if memory serves, in Tampa. Because we had some friends in Tampa at the time. And that was like right after we arrived. Uh, Wisconsin Traveler. Hi, Robert and Pelican Heads. I'm disappointed with the blizzard we got. It was the most boring blizzard I've ever been. One inch of snow at the most. That's it. Uh, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <coughs> LOL was 1989. Okay, 89. Yep. That's probably the one that we're talking about. Uh, Bob Leach, we love the Aldi system. We were out early March, below freezing, stayed very warm. Yeah, Aldi, I've heard great things about Aldi. I think uh, Mike and Jennifer of the RV Lifestyle uh, were the first ones to really advertise that uh, because they had that road trek back in the day and they had the, the Aldi, you know, with the radiant heat, radiant heat, you know, in the, under the floor and whatnot. Uh, hello Robert my name is Marco Lobo from Brazil here at home we are your fans Merry Christmas Merry Christmas and uh, Bon Natal right that's how you say it in, in Portuguese if, if memory serves you know when I had the, the uh, one of all my jobs uh, at, at the Spanish TV channels we always had a Brazil feed and so we had several Brazilian um uh, Co-workers. Mm. Okay, let me let me go back here. Um, from Brian Censoring, Merry Christmas, Robert. It's eight degrees here in southern Pennsylvania. Oh boy, it's freezing. Merry Christmas. Uh, hello, I just wanted to say thank you so much for doing what you do. I'm, I never recommend commented before, but I have watched all. And you got me through some rough time last few years. Merry Christmas to family. Alex Minif. Well, thank you so much for being here and for, for coming, team. Yes. A trailer traveling. Hershey RV show is September 13th through the 17th. M23, September 21 to the 24th. Yep. We're doing both. With a quick stop in uh, in Ohio. What's it called? Jim, Jim uh, Forry told me about it. It's a, it's a big, you know, fair... Uh, they have there about, you know, uh, I forget what it's called exactly right now. Invisible River Ranch. Thank you for that super chat. A super sticker. Actually, very cool. Yes. Feliz Natal. There you go. Yeah, Bon Natale. Bon Natale is Italiano. Uh, Feliz, Feliz Natal in Portuguese. I know it was Natal. I didn't, I didn't know exactly... Uh, uh, Jim in DC. Okay, that's for uh, Red Jaguar. So um, let me see what else. My bar, my van dro door froze. Can make a milk run negative five. I cannot imagine how that must feel. 
You might find Wabasto heater in the Euro camper vans. That's what I have. It's awesome. I've heard great things about Wabasto. Who had a Wabasto? Uh, Lewis. Uh, oh, gosh. What's his channel now? Lewis. Uh, Rolling Earthship. He had a Wabasto and he liked it. That's the one that runs on diesel, right? Uh uh, tap channel, I saw that photo on Insta or Twitter when you compared yourself from now and 30 years ago somewhere in Miami. Was that water weight cleaner in Miami back then or was it just a bad cloudy day on recent pick? It may have been time of the day. It may have been just... A, I don't think the water is significantly uh, dirtier right now, although in that picture it does look totally different. I mean, we've been through several hurricanes since then, so it's... Just totally possible that something removed the sand from the bottom and it's now, uh, you know, grassy. Uh, but Rick J, if you're going up the 395, make sure to check out Cerro Gordo Mines near Lone Pine. And I know, you know, sometimes when it snows, the 395, you cannot make it all the way to, to Mammoth Lake. So we might make a detour at some point. But I'll check it out. What is it called? A Cerro Gordo Mines. Might as well put it in my... I have Key West in my map here because that's what I was researching because... Uh, surprise! I'm... I'm... I'm uh, can I do this? I'm doing a, a Key West video right now. So what do you say it was called? It, why, why doesn't it show me the... Like to search. This is odd. Well, I'll do it later, just in case. <laughs> Cerro Gordo, I'll remember. Jim Forry, traveling rubber, not a fair. The Ohio State University Farm Science reviewing London, Ohio with a fan meetup Tuesday night. There you go. Thank you so much, Jim. You know, you, you are my assisted memory, you know. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're doing that. And uh, London, Ohio, fun meetup on Tuesday night. Sounds like a, sounds like a fun plan. And, and Jim usually organizes the, the, you know, some of the best meetups, let me tell you. I'm going to start wrapping it up, guys. I didn't realize it was 7.05 already. Time flies when you're having some, uh, fun. Uh, Jeffrey DiBartolo, best wishes. Merry Christmas to you and your family and everyone on the chat. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. Um, happy holidays to everybody. I have Key North on my map. Well, one of these days we're going to go to Key West North. I wonder why the search... Let me let me, re, let me refresh here my Google Maps. This is very odd. Oh, it's back. Yeah, I was researching the smallest bar in Key West. I don't know if they, they claim to be the smallest bar in Key West or the smallest bar in the world. You know, a lot of places claim to be like... The smallest or biggest in the world, and then it turns out they're not. Like like Long Beach, uh, Washington, for example. Uh, Christopher also on uh, Good Night from Sweden. Yes. Now, I'm going to grab my guitar, and I'm going to start wrapping it up. I'm so, so, so glad uh, you guys uh, came to hang out. Well, now, now the chat, it starts going. Uh, Cajuns, any plans for a Florida meetup when we, can, when we get back from the West, for sure. Uh, Bill Jim Slate uh, went back and rewatched the episodes uh, of Nebraska, Missouri, and it looks like the Lewis and Clark Corps of Discovery had made its first appearance at the Missouri Interpretive Center. That's very likely uh, where I bought it. Yes. Alex Minef, thank you. Thank you. For, it's your first time here, so thank you for that, and thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. And Banana Kid, Merry Christmas. Everybody likes banana. Banana like it. A uh, hi from Elk County, Pennsylvania. We currently have negative 30 wind chill with 20 miles per hour winds. It's brutal. Merry Christmas. Love watching your videos. And just to rub it in here, we've gone down one degree. It is officially colder outside than inside, which is something never happens in this house. I was going to sing a Christmas song, but I may get a copyright strike. So I'm not going to sing a Christmas song. 
How about if I change the lyrics and I change the, the, the music? Then it wouldn't be a Christmas song, right? I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Yes, I'm free under the Christmas tree. Yeah, riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Uh, oh, wait, wait, I still have a little bit of beer. Cheers, everybody. And I wish you a very, very a Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas for those of you in the UK. And um, and I'll see you before the end of the year, if all goes well. So, As always, thank you for watching. And see you. Oh, my glasses. See you on the road. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend besides having a great Christmas. And uh, hope, you know, hope you've been naughty. I mean, not nice and not naughty. And... Uh, and I can't seem to say goodbye because they, whenever I'm saying goodbye, there's a, there's a new super chat from Angela Ball. Thank you for that. A super sticker, actually. So thank you all. And uh, I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And uh, Arizona Christmas tree. Yeah, that will be a saguaro. Right, Nian? <laughs> Good night, everybody.